Hello everyone, it's Jared Turner. I'm in Oklahoma City. On this episode, the man who was born in a log cabin, but by the end of his life, was declared the king of the United States Senate. This is Oklahoma history on an index card. Robert Samuel Kerr was born in the Indian Territory in 1896. He went to college at OU, OBU, and ECU when he could afford to go, but he did eventually find success in the oil industry, starting the Kerr-McGee Oil Company. With his newfound success, he got involved in the Democratic Party and ran for governor of Oklahoma in 1942. As Oklahoma's 12th governor, Kerr wanted to promote industry from Oklahoma and would even travel around the country at his own expense. That way he could promote businesses and items that were made here in the Sooner State. After leaving the governor's mansion, he ran for a spot in the United States Senate in 1948. As a senator, he voted in favor of the Civil Rights Act of 1957 and in favor of the 24th Amendment. He was also very big on conservation of resources. His efforts helped build the McClellan Kerr Arkansas River navigation system. This not only helped a flooding problem in eastern Oklahoma, but has created billions of revenue for our state in eastern Oklahoma. He passed away on January 1st, 1963 in Washington, D.C. and is buried here at the Rose Hill Cemetery in Oklahoma City. His funeral was attended by such people as Vice President Lyndon Johnson and even President John Kennedy. If you would like to learn more about Robert S. Kerr, especially when it comes to his conservation of resources policies, I would suggest a book that he wrote as a United States Senator called Land, Wood, and Water. I'm Jared Turner, and this is Oklahoma History on an Index Card.